So much fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't believe I get to play Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. And you're my understudy. Yeah, I am your understudy. I guess it's better than nothing. So what are you going to do if you're an understudy? Pray that you get sick. Ouch. What was that? Nothing. So, I asked you. What are you going to do as the understudy? Just watch rehearsal so I could learn your lines in case something happens to you. And also, I'm going to be working backstage for a little bit. Well, that's good. No, it's not. I want to be on the stage. Well, I don't really know what to say to that. Look, Nyla, you're one of my best friends. Thank you. But do you think you could do me a huge, huge favor? What's that? Can you fake being sick so I could play Juliet? Why would I do that? I worked very hard for that audition. Yeah, but you don't look a thing like Juliet. Who knows what Juliet looked like? Well, you don't look like Romeo or the people playing her parents. Well, maybe not, but it's just a little play. I mean, little. It's a big play, and being Juliet's a big deal, and I want to play Juliet. Well, I'm sorry that you want to play Juliet, but I'm not going to give up my spot. Some friend you are. Some friend you are. You should be happy for me. Are you not happy for me? They only picked you because they felt bad for you. How can you say that? It's true. They only picked you because everyone was picking on you. So they thought, oh, well, she gets picked on. Maybe if she's Juliet, she will not get picked on anymore. I can't believe you're saying this. How can you say something like that? You don't think I earned that audition? Not fairly, no. You know what? We're almost to your house. You can walk yourself home. I'm going home. Good. All I ask is that you give up your spot for Juliet for me. I would do it for you. No, you wouldn't. And you, we both know that. Whatever. I'm going home. Thanks for being a lousy friend. We're fine. Hi, Mom. I'm back from drama camp. Hi, honey. How did the auditions go? Not very well. Oh, honey, just because you didn't get the part you wanted doesn't mean you're not a good actress. It's not that. Well, it's partly that. Nyla got to be Juliet. Well, who are you? I'm the understudy. So the only way I could play Juliet is if Nyla gives up a part or if she gets sick or whatever. Oh. Yeah, and her and I had a fight. Was it over her being Juliet? Yeah, I mean, if she's really my friend, she would understand how much I wanted that part and she'd give it to me. Chris, sir, do you think that's fair? Well, she doesn't even look like the people playing Juliet's parents and or she doesn't look like Romeo's. I look more like it. So I think she should have given her part to me. You mean just because she doesn't look like Juliet, supposedly? Copy in the dining room. Copy in the dining she, room. Um, she hasn't deserved this part? I don't know. I mean... I don't know. I gotta go to my room and think. Yeah, I think you better do that. And I have an email to send. Come in. Chris, honey, I think we need to talk. I guess there's no harm in talking, is there?
I want to tell you that um, I invited Nyla to come and talk with you. You did what? Why? I'm mad at her. And why are you mad at her? Because she stole my part. She didn't steal anything. She, she just happened to have a good audition. But I'm the one who likes to act, not her. I'm the one that had to convince her to audition, and then she takes the part I want. Honey, I know how hard this is for you. But if you and Nyla were really as close as you say you are, you would be, you would be proud of her. I guess I am proud of her, but I'm just... I think you're jealous. No, I'm not. Okay, maybe I am a little jealous. I just wanted that part so bad, and I guess it was wrong of me to ask Nyla to give it up to me. I think it was, too. But you'll have... But you'll have the chance to say, to tell Nyla that. She'll be over in a few minutes. Okay, thanks, Mom. Okay. Work things out with her. I will. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Molly. Hi, Nyla. Thank you for coming. Well, thanks for inviting me over, even though I'm not really ready to talk to Chrissy yet. I understand that, honey, but you and Chris are very close. I don't want you to lose a friendship over something like this. I don't want to lose our friendship either. But it hurt my feelings when Chris has said all those things to me. I know, she told me what she said to you too, and I agree with you. But I'm not your daughter. It doesn't matter. I know what's right and wrong, and I've raised Krissa enough to know, for her to know what's right and wrong. Yeah. Maybe I should just give up my part just to make her happy. If you have to give up something that you've worked so hard for and give it to Krissa in order for her to be a friend, she's not a real friend. Then why am I over here? Because I think Chris is realizing that she's wrong. Go and talk to her. Okay, well... Thanks, Molly. Okay, I'll be in here if you need anything. Thanks. <sighs> what is taking her so long? Come in. Hey. Hey, Nyla. Please sit down. I want to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? How I stole your part? He didn't steal it. I just really wanted to play Juliet. I know you did. Which is why I'm going to give up my part and give it to you. No, don't do that. Dude, pick a side. I'm not a dude, I'm a girl. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. First, she said you wanted the part so bad, you wanted me to give it up. But now you're saying I shouldn't? Because I realized that you earned this part on your own. And what I said to you before was uncalled for. <sighs> yeah, it was. You really hurt my feelings. I know I did. And I'm sorry. I guess I was just jealous that you got the part and I didn't. Made me feel like you were better than me. I'm not better than you, Krista. I just got lucky and got a good part. And I shouldn't, yeah, but I shouldn't have said I hope you get sick so I could get the part. No, you shouldn't have said that, but I probably would have said the same thing. You would not have. You're too nice for that. Okay, you're right, I am, but just wanted to try to make you feel better. It's just that being an understudy is pathetic. It's insulting. No, it's not. At least you have a chance of being Juliet. Who knows, maybe I will get the flu or something. Well, I hope you don't, because I think you, you would make a good Juliet. I was just too jealous and hard-headed to think that. And I'm sorry. I really am. I forgive you. Hey, listen, do you want to stay for a while? We can go on YouTube. Sure, I'd like that. Okay. Let me just log on to my computer. 
Watch the nanny. <laughs> you guys, you're so cute. Come in. Honey, it's getting kind of late, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just watching this episode of the nanny. Oh, well, honey, after that episode's over, I want you in bed. But it's, it's summer. I know, but you have drama camp tomorrow, remember? Speaking of which, did you and Nyla patch things up? Yeah, we did. I told her I was sorry, and I realized I was wrong, and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Well, I'm glad things are good between you and Nyla. Yeah, thanks for inviting her over. I don't think I would have had the nerve to. Well, honey, I want you and Nyla to have a good friendship together. I'll do anything to help you out. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Well, I want you to watch the rest of this episode of the nanny and then I want you to get ready for bed okay 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 good night honey good night mom love you love you too you know what I could watch this episode anytime I better be ready for bed Ugh.